Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. I'm gonna be showing you how I got this look right here. I am using a brand new eyeshadow palette that is out now. That is from Sigma Beauty. It is their new Warm Neutrals palette. Oh yes, I am so excited that this video is sponsored by Sigma Beauty. So thank you so much to Sigma for working with me on this video. Thank you so much for watching and giving me opportunities like this because when I get to work with Sigma, it's one of those that just makes me so very excited. But especially when they have a new eyeshadow palette coming out because a lot of you know, I am a big, big fan of these Sigma eyeshadow palettes. So when I heard the words warm neutrals, I was like, what is this palette going to look like and then to open it up for the first time i was like okay okay we are in business now we can do some things with this palette and i know a lot of you might be wondering samantha are you even into neutrals anymore you're sure wearing a lot of color recently like purples and greens but i am still a neutral girl at heart and when i opened this palette and saw this color scheme the variety of different finishes and just the different kind of tones in here for a warm neutrals palette i was really impressed uh, by the variety in here and all of the different looks that you can create so i think sigma did such a good job on this palette so i'm really excited to show you this look i have a couple other products from sigma that i will be using to complete everything of course everything is going to be linked down below sigma has they're just a brand that i support so much they have amazing quality their brushes are so fantastic they have the two-year warranty on them they have such a variety that you can get on their website from makeup to brushes brush cleaning i'm such a fan of that and i'm just really excited to do this video and share with you this look so let's go ahead and get started hello okay so to get started i'm going to be first doing my eyes with the new warm neutrals palette that is available now from sigma beauty oh yes i am also going to be using there is a double-ended brush that comes with the palette so you do have the e38 diffused crease on one side and the e54 54 medium sweeper on the other but they do also have this brush set right here is the sigma signature brush set. you get five premium brushes and then it does also come with a bag there's the f81 the soft blend 60 the e55 eye shading e35 tapered blending and e31 the domed pencil brush a little bit more about the palette this one is going to retail for 49 dollars on the sigma website there are 14 different shades and again you do get the double ended brush there is actually a limited edition set that is available now on the sigma website if it's still available when this video goes up i of course will have it linked down below but this is their limited edition premium eyeshadow bundle it features four best-selling eyeshadow palettes inside a sheet container to display on your vanity you get the enchanted eyeshadow palette the untamed eyeshadow palette the corderosa eyeshadow palette and then this new warm neutrals eyeshadow palette that's pretty amazing a little bit more on the palette it says indulge in a 14 rich warm hues and long-lasting buttery soft formulas with this luxe eyeshadow palette and dual ended brush Featuring a versatile mix of basic to bold shades, Warm Neutrals has something for everyone. The combination of matte, frost, shimmer, metallic, and glitter finishes embodies a decadence you won't be able to resist. Some of you know that I am a fan of the Sigma palettes. The Corderosa, I just, I enjoy the Corderosa so much. The Untamed palette is absolutely beautiful. The Enchanted palette, I mean, when the Warm Neutrals Volume 2 came out years ago, that was one of the first palettes from Sigma Beauty that I was like, wait, what? Like, makeup too? Because I got into Sigma uh, in the beginning because of their brushes. They have some really legit makeup products out there too and I am just once again really excited to see a new beautiful palette. I like that there's so many different finishes in here. It really gives you a lot of variety. I like that it's obviously a more neutral palette. It is very warm toned but without being kind of the warm tone that I feel like we've gotten used to seeing with just like reds and oranges. Um, you know that is mixed in here but then you also have just different type of colors and then you have like the pop of green over here the shimmers look beautiful you have some more of those like glittery um, almost like topper shades I think the combination of the colors in here is really fun so I actually kind of want to do something like over in this area is what I'm thinking of and just like a really beautiful brown smoky eye but with like a little bit of an oomph too i'm telling you guys i really wanted to come in with the green but i know i've been doing a lot of green and a lot of purple i really wanted to do something just nice and neutral today so i'm first going to come in with the shade henna this matte shade and i am going to use an e44 this is one of my favorite sigma brushes it has more of a domed top so it's really nice to be able to place down shadows 
but at the same time you can blend them out really easily too so I'm just gonna kind of pack this on the outer part of my lid and then again because of the shape of this brush I can also start to blend that along my crease I'm taking this shade and really running it from like the inner part of my eye out here to the outer part. I have not added more shadow yet. This is still just that first uh, first tap into the palette that I did. I'm going to grab the brush that came in the palette. I'm going to use the E38 side. I'm going to come into a little bit of Toasty, this lighter matte brown. I'm going to run that uh, more on top of where I put the henna shade. And then just lightly run that back and forth, just kind of like buffing out any harsh lines. Using the other side of the brush, so this one is the E54, I am first going to come in with Iconic, this beautiful shimmer right here. I'm going to start to run this on the eyelid, kind of focusing it towards the center and outer part of my eye. And then I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to flip it to the other side. And then I'm going to use some of Bittersweet, the other shimmer in this little like quad that I picked out. And I'm going to apply that in the like middle to inner part of my eye. I'm just kind of tapping these two shades over each other. And I'm just going to kind of go back and forth and add one and tap and then add one and the other. This combination of shades, I just, I don't know why, I think it's just so fun and so cool. And this formula for the Sigma shimmers, they are so easy to pair with each other. That's something that I've really noticed through all of these other eyeshadow palettes. You can really kind of layer and like mix and match them and they just blend so easily together. And they also look beautiful. So I have not been using wet brush. I've just been using my dry E54. And something about that combination I just think is so fun. Come back into the E44. I don't have any extra product on here. But I'm just going to blend those. For my eyeliner, I'm going to use the one from Sigma. It's just a nice black liner. And for my lower lash line, from that brush set, I'm going to grab out the E31. I want to pick up this kind of deeper red matte. That was another one. My eyes went to that one right away. I definitely want to use it in another look and maybe kind of focusing on this quad here too with this one being the outlier. Um, but I feel like that would look really pretty. But I'm going to take some of this onto that E31 and then just kind of get it really close to my lower lash line. Here on the outer part of my eye, I'm just going to kind of lightly flick it up here. Not too much. I'm not doing like a full like trying to really make it look like um, I'm really extending liner here. I'm just kind of flicking out that darker shade. Not too much. I think this color like perfectly suits this look too. I was wondering if it'd be too much of a difference between the mattes that I used on my lids and I was like oh, I'm not sure maybe I shouldn't do it but I still wanted to use it but I think it would have worked well as like just another um, like outer crease color and this color with green eyes I think just like instantly makes them pop makes them pop and I'm gonna take just a little bit more of toasty on this same brush and I'm gonna blend out that darker shade so I kind of first place my brush lower like with the first shade I was really close to the lower lash line this one I'm just placing a little bit lower here and then just using really light pressure to blend that out for my inner corner and brow bone, I want to use a little bit of Charmer. So this one uh, is a little bit more pink, but I'm just going to use an E30 pencil brush. I'm just going to pop this. Ooh, that's really pretty too. So I'm going to add this right on the inner corner and then a little bit on the brow bone. All right, then I'm just going to add my mascara and the eyes are done. Right. That is it for the eye look. It was super simple to do. It was so fast and I just, Sigma has really been knocking it out of the park with their eyeshadow palettes. Like they have stepped up their game. The, the color combinations that they come up with are just 
I'm so impressed and the warm neutrals is no different. Hope you enjoyed seeing me get this look right here. I really love how it came out. I really liked mixing those two shimmers. I just feel like the combination just does something and then including that uh, that darker red on the Laura lash line. I just feel like green eyes are popping right now. So I am so excited about this look. I'm so excited because, again, looking at this palette, I feel like there's just so many different color combinations I can do. This is one where I look at it and I I just feel more inspired to do different looks. And that doesn't always happen with every palette, but it's like, even how I was saying, like kind of breaking it down into quads, uh, I feel like that could work. Or even just like little duos, like this duo... <laughs> I feel like that would be really fun. Even like a halo eye you could do on this end. I mean, I will be doing plenty more looks with this one. I'm sure I'll have another one coming to my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word. So you can see another look from this palette over there. But that is it for the eye look. So let me finish off the face here. I did do an Ulta haul recently. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the cards. And I did grab this bronzer from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the Toasty Bronzer. I'm just going to apply this with some of my Sigma F30 brush. These are pretty pigmented bronzers. I feel like the toasty shade is looking good though. And then I'm gonna use this duo because I have been loving it. I don't know if my makeup monthly for November will have gone up by the time this video does. If it hasn't, oh, spoiler alert, I mentioned this as a favorite. I did a video on my face palettes recently also and I mentioned this one and so many of you said that you had to grab it. First of all, it's beautiful. It's a part of the holiday collection. It's so stunning. But inside you do get the Corderosa blush, which is beautiful, and then the Gilded highlight. Both of these are just so creamy and beautiful and blendable. And I, I just have to use this one again. So I'm going to use a, from the brush set the F81. This is the Blend Kabuki. Now you can use this for foundation. I'm just going to use it for a little bit of blush. I'm just going to pop it right on my cheeks there, right in the center. And then blend it back. And then using the Soft Blend 60 for the highlight side. I'm just going to top that on the cheekbones. This highlight is gorgeous. I love this little duo. I'm going to do a little bit above my brow and in a C around my face here. All right. That's just stunning. <laughs> also purchased a set of lip liners from KKW Beauty. So it was five mini lip liners. And a lot of you told me in that video that 1.5 is like one of your favorite shades. So that's what I'm gonna try out today. These lip liners are very nice. They're very smooth. They're very creamy. I do really like this 1.5 shade. Mm. Sigma did also send over two of their new liquid lipsticks. We have the shades Suede and also Cashmere. We have Suede and then also Cashmere. So Suede looks to have a little bit more mauve to it. And then Cashmere is a little bit more of a warm neutral, dare I say. I think, I feel like either one would go really well with this eye look. I think I'm actually going to do Cashmere though. Just a little bit more on that nude side versus mauve. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply Cashmere all over my lips. Okay, that also matched the 1.5 lip liner so well. I was not expecting that. All right, after the lip, this look is complete. I hope you enjoyed watching me get this look some, using some of these new products from Sigma Beauty, including the new Warm Neutrals palette. Thank you so much to Sigma for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. Definitely let me know what you thought in the comments. Are you planning to grab this palette? Did you already? The Sigma Black Friday sales were pretty amazing, and I know a lot of you had said that you were quite excited about them. So let me know if you picked up anything from the site or if you're going to pick up any of these products that I used. I will link everything of course in my description box so if you're interested in anything make sure to check that out other than that though that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video bye